y'all so I know it's been a little bit since I've done a video and um, I'm back and today I'm doing kind of a review on this Sally Henson magnetic nail polish and I've seen other magnetic nail polishes before and I have no idea how long this particular one's been out but I feel like paying 12 14 16 dollars from a nail polish and I wouldn't even know how much I liked it but um, I decided to go ahead and give this a shot because I think it was like $8 at Target and I went to Target to go buy something and then they didn't have it and then I start feeling like I can just I can't just go here and not get anything so first I got this cute little hat and then I got a nail polish <laughs> I just wandered aimlessly through the aisles and then I was started thinking wait maybe they're about to close so I just went ahead and said get the nail polish and left so I got it in ready response but to me it doesn't look red at all even with I did a test on the magnet effect and um, it just it didn't seem to do anything whatever I mean it did seem to do anything it didn't seem to become redder that's what I meant it didn't seem to become any redder so they had a purpley color but I feel like this I guess it's more purpley or it's more purple there that's the way we speak the human language um so the way it works is first you you shake it. they tell you to shake it and then you apply to all ten of your nails and you let that dry and then you put on a thicker top coat of the same polish and this part pops off and it has a little, um, I don't know if you can see that, it has a little guide so when you put it down on your nail, um, theoretically you shouldn't do that, it should help you um, keep it from smudging it but if you're like me you'll see that I've already messed it up and I messed up my nails so I had to go ahead <laughs> do them over again but um the way that it works i must resist fucking magnets how do they work i had to i had to i hate I cp by the way but that was always just like one of the funniest things that i think i've ever heard and then that's like a meme i quite enjoyed when it came out i just i had to i couldn't help it the way it works is you have your base coat on and you wait for that to dry and you put on a thicker coat while it's still wet um, you hold the magnet above it and the particles start to rise up so that you get um, more of that pattern on there so yeah let me try and do a demo I was gonna try and like angle it downward but every time I did that it would just fall completely over so I was thinking maybe I could just kind of paint my nails in front of you and then <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know how this is gonna work but let's let's try it so you want to get a relatively thick coat on there I mean it doesn't need to be as thick as that but you want it or as sloppy as that I definitely recommend um, going over it if you're like me um, with a q-tip at the end or if you're just really lazy you know you can scratch it off or put an orange stick and get it off there unless you're nice and neat then you're not like me at all so then you hold it above your nail for 10 seconds but I do 10 15 30 I don't know I don't I don't know and then it will pull up like that and um, just depending on it isn't there really I haven't noticed any way to get like a certain pattern on it I do know that some brands their magnet um, they have it set up a certain way so it'll create different patterns I haven't noticed anything on these yet but I have noticed that the thicker that you put it on the more of an effect you'll get unless you put it on really really thick then it just looks awful and I think the longer that you hold the magnet there the I just smudged it I'm a flipping genius So how are y'all doing? I hope you guys have been doing pretty good, even though I was away like 
chasing rockets him at three o'clock in the morning and ruining my sleep pattern. I hope y'all have been all right and doing fun things. It's Memorial Day, but I had to work. I hope none of you had to work. I had to work and I barely did anything and there's a tribal storm north of us and we got out of rain bands and it was like torrential downpours every 30 minutes. Oh my god, this looks disgusting. I don't even want to show you guys. Oh well. Um, and there were like torrential downpours every 30 minutes and no one wanted to come into the store. <laughs> And it was just, it was, it was, no one wants to work on a national holiday, I don't think. Oh, that one actually turned out kind of nice, despite, you know, me being completely gross and sloppy with it. I don't even know why I'm, like, continuing to chit chat with you guys. I just, I feel like I need some kind of filler time. But, don't mind me awkwardly rambling to the camera. I don't know what got on my nail. I think I have like a little bit of fiber left from um, when I, it's, it's, it's not my day from when I was taking the polish off of my nails. That's what you call it. Um, yeah. See, and if you wait, like I just did, if you wait and you let it start to dry you don't get as much of an effect you definitely want to like it says it tells you to do it immediately and I guess that's serious business because if you don't do it immediately it doesn't really do that much of good oh see that's pretty so I'm only going to torture you guys and show you me doing one hand and I know in a couple days I'm going to put up one I don't know, it's going to be sometime this week. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or the next day, but I'm going to do a demo um, of putting on the Sally Henson nail effects, the kind of sticker ones. I asked if anybody wanted me to show how to put them on, and I got a reply of yes, so I will definitely do that. And if there's anything else that you want to see, let me know. I probably have a few tags coming up, and then I'm going to be doing my May favorites. So if there's anything you'd like, just let me know. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.